this will be an example with the reference curve. You can use your online documentation for further explanations. We'll use the uh, two lines I've already created and figured at this point you've seen the lines enough. Just generating lines and then ask for a guide curve. So this outside left line is my guide curve and my reference curve is going to be where my surface is going to touch. Um, I'll hit, it's at 90 degree angle. I'll hit preview. And reference curve. That's weird. I thought I was, oh, I grabbed that as guide curve one. Sorry, guide curve one. The first one you select is going to be what it's going to be on. And the second one is going to be a reference. So let's try that again. Uh, for visual purposes, I think it's going to be easier to see it on this one. Uh, I'm going to do an angle to 45 and hit preview. And you get four solutions. I've got lim line going uh, five inches in one direction. Okay. I could trim that back down to two. Maybe that might be easier to see. All right. So that's 45 degrees versus the next one versus the next one versus the next one or the next one here and again if you want to go two inches in both directions you'd set length two to a length of your desire preview that and it's going in both directions so how does this work let's change this back to zero when you grab guide number two it creates a plane between this line and this line here. So that plane is where it's getting the 45 degree angle from. All right, so if I were to select OK, um, let's hide this. If I were to go to sweep surface and use with reference surface and I use this as my guide curve and I pick the XY plane. You see, I get those same results. Okay, it looks identical because when you select two lines, that establishes a plane. So if I go to wireframe and create a plane and select these two lines and put that plane right here in the center. And select OK. Go back to sweep. Again, with reference surface, when I'm grabbing this line and grab that plane, it's at an angle based on that plane, and it always goes uh, counterclockwise. So you have your different other options here. Oh, that's funny. It looks like it's going clockwise here. Um, Anyways, it's just basically creating. It's basically just creating a plane, or sorry, creating a surface using the guide curve as a, a limit, and this plane to define what it's going to lie on. So if you want to lie on that angle or on that plane, you just type in zero. And in this case, you only have two results. You'll go this way. Or the opposite direction. Okay, again, uh, I can pick that arrow, preview that, it's going in that direction. It's the same plane as this. If I type in 45 degrees, I'm peeling it up 45 degrees. Okay, so I'll undo that surface. So in that regards, using the with reference curve establishes the same thing. Without having to create that plane, you could grab guide curve number one, as it shows in the picture. That's where the surface is going to touch. Guide curve number two creates a plane between those two lines, which is that plane there. And then the angle, whatever you choose to go to, I'll go to with a 30 degree angle. Select OK. 
You see it shows me it's 30 degrees and it's going to be 2 inches long. That's my length. I could go a half inch in the other direction and it shows me a half inch dimension over here. All right, so that's an example here of the surface sweep line using the subtype with reference and curve.